Well, the Rex Theater in Rexburg claims it generates the city $2.3 million a year that would otherwise go to Idaho Falls. Taking action for you, Eyewitness News reporter Stephen Pope investigates this claim in Rexburg. Stephen? Dinner and a movie is now dinner, shopping and a movie. And those extra spent dollars in Rexburg are what the theater is taking credit for. According to a media ratings company, Arbitron, 43% of moviegoers go out to eat immediately before or after going to a theater. On top of that, 14% visit a retail store. On average, uh, the, the dollar that is spent in the community can be circulated up to seven times before it leaves the community. Uh, our conservative estimate shows that uh, two and a half, close to two and a half million dollars stays in Rexburg because of what we do here. If the Rex Theater didn't exist, moviegoers would likely spend that money away from Rexburg. How do you generate Rexburg $2.3 million? The Rex keeps people in Rexburg instead of traveling to Idaho Falls to do shopping and movies. Uh, people have another option to stay here in Rexburg. I asked a few random people if they went out to eat or a shop before going out to the movies. Yes, we did. Wingers. Yeah, I, by the time you use the gas, go to Idaho Falls and come back, you would spend more money in gas than if you just stayed here and ate. Rigby resident Rhonda Johnson drove south before going to the Rex. We went to Idaho Falls so, uh, to eat dinner. Ah! Easy, princess, princess, do not panic. What did you do to me? But not everyone does go out to eat before they go to the movie theaters. Some just fill up on some popcorn. Now, the Arbitron study also says that moviegoers show up an average of 19 minutes early before a movie. And that's possibly why the Rex advertising, which runs before even the trailers, is reaching such a wide audience. For Channel 3 Eyewitness News, I'm Stephen Pope.